What's going on, No Carbs Nation? How are we doing today? Hey, today is video number three in my Journey to Better Health series. So uh, this week's video, or this, this video in particular, is about high blood pressure. So I'm gonna try to keep it as brief as possible uh, to respect your time. So first, I'll say this. I do believe that there's a there's some folks with high blood pressure that the hereditary uh, issues come into play. I, I do believe that's a case. I don't know. I think it's a small amount, but I think you know hereditary type uh, things do come into play with uh, high blood pressure. Now, with that said, I 100% believe that diet and lifestyle have a huge effect on high blood pressure. Um, I also believe that, you know, how this diet and lifestyle that I and many of you have chosen has shown to reverse or cure many ailments. I do think if you've uh, had bad blood pressure for so long, uh, through years and decades of abuse, uh, again, through lifestyle and diet, you may not be able to reverse that. I am not a doctor, and I should preface that, right? I'm not a doctor, this is not medical advice, it's simply my opinion based on my experience. So, uh, but again, with all that said, you maybe might not be able to cure high blood pressure, but you can certainly keep it in check, right? I, again, my opinion. So, let's start. Uh, we'll rewind, I wanna say, Oh goodness, around 2011, 2012, right around 39, 40 years old, um, I am sitting at the office. Um, it's late, um, it's probably like 5.30 in the evening. Um, I've been working, you know, a 40 hour week has been non-existent for decades for me. So typical day, right? I'm working late, stressful day. <clears throat> so I'm sitting at my desk, right? and my heart starts racing. I start seeing shiny you know, flashes of light up my peripheral vision and my eyes there. Start getting chest pain real bad, right? Start getting hot. I'm kind of starting to feel that way now, looking back. It's, it's bringing back some, whoo, some crazy memories, but uh, something really wasn't, wasn't right, right? I, I thought, okay, I'm having a heart attack. I'm at the office, I'm alone and I'm having a heart attack. And uh, I remember calling home and my wife and I had little kids. Uh, my oldest son answered the phone and uh, said, mom's busy changing diapers, whatever she was doing. So I hopped the phone and <clears throat> one of our field workers, uh, a great guy by the name of Ernie, actually came back from the field late and he looked at me and knew something was wrong. He knew something was right. He goes, you okay? I said, oh, go home, I'll be fine. He refused to leave because he looked so bad. And I said, at that time, my wife had called me back as well and said, hey, our son said, you're not, uh, you didn't sound right. What's wrong? I explained what was going on. She said, call an ambulance. I'm like, no, I, I will not call an ambulance. I don't want the attention, right? I don't want all the people at the neighboring uh, places around the office, you know, gawking and I, I didn't want it. So she said, I'm on my way. And again, the other guy at work wouldn't leave uh, until she got there just to make sure that, you know, I didn't check out. Um, so she got there, we got in the van, drove right to the emergency room. Uh, they got me in right away. It was a male and a female nurse back there with us. And they started with their vitals. They started taking my blood pressure and um, I'll never forget it as long as I live. They looked at the blood pressure readings they looked at each other and their eyes went like this. The, the male nurse didn't say a word. He turned and jetted, sprinted out of that room. Like, what the hell's going on? Uh, next thing you know, a doctor comes back in, tells him, hey, start him on this, start him on that, start him on that. I said, Mr. Young, we're checking you in. Um, my blood pressure, I don't remember the exact numbers. Uh, I know it was, both numbers were over 200. It was ridiculous. He looked at me and said, sir, you are lucky to be alive right now. You know, what's crazy is I didn't have any symptoms of high blood pressure before this. It literally snuck up 
that bad. So, long story short, admitted me to the hospital, uh, started on some blood pressure meds, and for the next probably month and a half, two months, in and out of the ER while they tried to find the right dose of um, high blood pressure medicine for me. Um, absolute nightmare. Um, just scary as shit. And I remember the doctor saying that, you know, it's a silent killer, right? It's hence no symptoms and out of the blue, bam, almost got me. So um, how much, you know, I'm not getting the hereditary part, you know, could some of that be hereditary? Maybe. Can the majority of it be caused by my shitty diet and shitty lifestyle for decades? 100%. So my high blood pressure it problems then started because of me. 100% to blame. And that's why I'm making this video is, you know, to share, yes, my blood pressure experience and almost dying experience and, and all that scary stuff. But to tell you, for most people, I believe, it doesn't have to be that way, right? You don't have to suffer. You have time to correct yourself, right? But you have to make that choice. You have to take that first step. No one can do it for you. And I pray that you don't let it go so long to where it's, it gets to that point and scares you that much. So that's my tips for today. Uh, High blood pressure is a bitch. It's scary. Uh, it's nothing you want to screw with. Go get it checked. If it's high, come up with a plan. If you can correct it through diet and lifestyle, please do it. Um, otherwise, you could be on meds for the rest of your life. Uh, so, again, that's my story. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, this was episode three. If you haven't already, go check out the first two, right? Uh, if you don't mind, leave a comment. If you have some uh, high blood pressure experience you, uh, you'd be willing to share, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and spread the word of better health. And look forward to episode four, which is going to be on sleep apnea. That's, a, that's another doozy. So, hey, thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate you more than you know, No Carbs Nation. I love you. We'll talk to you next time. Stay strong. Go get it.